Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over named constructors. Before, in a previous video, we called named constructors and generative constructors the same thing. I, I, I'm not exactly sure if they are the same thing or not. I think people are using them a little bit interchangeably, or maybe I'm just misunderstanding that. But let's go over classes and constructors one more time, okay? So I'm gonna say class, um, let's say pet, and I'm going to say int eyes, legs, and bool tail. All right, and I'm going to create a generative constructor right inside here. This dot eyes, this dot legs, and I'm going to make the optional parameter this dot tail. Okay, but I'm going to say if tail equals null, then tail equals true. It'll just default to true if there's nothing there. So if we create the class, cre create the object, um, pet fluffy equals new pet. And we got to put in some arguments. So two eyes, four legs, and no tail, poor Fluffy. Um, fluffy print fluffy dot tail. And so that would be false, right? But if I left this out, it would default to true. Okay, so I think that's nothing new. This is, I think from now on, what we'll call it is a generative constructor. Before it was called a name constructor. I'm not sure, again, the terminology, maybe it's, it's a little bit vague to me. What since then um, I've, I've read about is, um, for example, pet.dog, these are more named constructors. So this would be a generative constructor. Underneath there is the um, the default constructor, and this is a named constructor. Okay. First of all, you might ask, why do you even need a um, generative constructor to begin with? Why don't you just use the default, right? Well, why don't you? Well, if you did that, then you would have to say fluffy dot eyes equals two you will use cascades dot legs equals four dot tail equals false so you could redefine or define some of these instance variables after you create the object but that's making it a little harder isn't it why don't you just do it within the class to make it easier to call it or to create it later that's like bringing fluffy home and then sticking two eyes on him, sticking four legs on him, and the tail. No, no, no. I don't want Fluffy without those things, okay? While he's at the store, or at the breeders, or at the kennel, or at, at, at the pound, I want those eyes intact, and the tail, and the legs, on Fluffy by the time I take him home, alright? So I want him on the animal at the time. So that's why you would create a generative constructor just to make it easier when you create the object the object is going to be intact from the very beginning okay two three four okay so if you want to create another and this is probably called more of the named constructor sorry about the um, confusion there this is more of a named constructor where you can where the syntax is class name dot something else so pet dot dog and so you could add parameters or you don't have to but I'll say this dot tail um, and uh, tail equals true okay so I'm gonna say new pet dot dog and I'm gonna say false create Fluffy new pet dot dog. Here's the named constructor. False, so false, but it's going to automatically change it to true no matter what I say. Okay, so 
In other words, I want a dog with a tail. I don't want a dog without a tail. No tail, no deal. Okay, so it doesn't matter what I put here. comes back true anyway. All right, and I'm, I'm just making this up, okay? You could put anything here, and you could put the um, uh, eyes equal three, or it's got super dog or something like that. You can always do something like that. So um, dot eyes, and you can run that. It should be actually three, okay? If this reminds you of something, so you have kind of a subclass within the class, me, it reminds me of extends. It reminds me of inheritance, right? Cat extends pet. So you can do that as well. But sometimes it's easier to put the class, the subclass. It's not truly called a subclass. It's a named constructor inside of here. Sometimes it's easier to actually do an extends and, and talk about inheritance. If this is an abstract class, or maybe it's it's a very complex code and you don't want to introduce more um, constructors inside of there. You want to leave it as it is and create a new class altogether. So there are different reasons to do different things, but at the same time, these are certainly options, especially with simple type of objects we're creating, simple types of classes, okay? So I'll say class cat um, and tail equals no I, I, I'm gonna say eyes equal I only want a three I can't okay so here class class pet does not have a deal oh um, when you talk about this when you are talking about inheritance you have to have a default constructor okay you can't have a generative constructor you need the default constructor right here all right so there we go you can't delete it altogether because you still need a generative constructor okay but you can't put any types of variables um or any types of um parameters right inside of there okay because if you're going to do an inheritance itself so okay fluffy equals new cat And we can always change this to cat. We don't have to, but but we can. So fluffy dot eyes eyes will equal three, right? How about a fluffy dot tail? Well, that hasn't been defined though, so it'll give you null, right? So class cat extends pet. So you can access these. They're not undefined. You can access them legs tail, but they just don't have any actual value to them because they haven't been initialized initialized okay however if you want to you can initialize this let's just say super dot dog you can do that okay so cat um give it a um uh um, let me see tail um bool tail and then super dot dog would be a tail here as well okay one required argument oh right right inside here so so cat equals true I'm gonna remove this part okay so cat equals new cat that's true it goes here bool true it goes to the super class pet dog this dot tail true sends this um this goes here so true goes to true true goes to true true goes to true itself so it should be coming out as true right but at the same time if you want to do dot eyes Let's just say 30. Eh, that's getting a little crazy. Let's go to 4, okay? So what's it going to do right here? So it's the super class that gets taken over. So it shouldn't be 3. It should actually be 4 in this case, right? Wait a minute. It's actually 3. Super dot dog. Oh, I'm sorry. 
computer, of course, is right. I was going to say computer is right. When we actually, this is going to be the next topic, actually. Okay, so when we actually get cat, it's going to inherit this value, but you can overwrite it. So superclass gets gets inherited, but then you can overwrite it with the local variable right inside of here. So this would be four, and this would be three. Okay, because it inherits it down here, but then it gets taken up and changed right down here. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Named constructors, generative constructors, you can introduce variables or you can introduce parameters into your class. The generative, the named constructor is the class dot something else, and then you can use to create different objects, which is a way of doing the class extends itself. All right. In the next video, why don't we go over initializers? That's what the colon actually is. I don't think I explained that well before. Let me try to go over that again in the next video. Okay. So if there's any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks. Bye.